Hello and welcome back again. We are still in Jakarta, Indonesia and today we're going to review the Sari Pacific Hotel. This hotel just joined the autograph collection by Marriott two weeks ago before it was uh, under the Pan Pacific brand. We stayed here in November 2022 and just shortly they are member of the uh, Marriott Bonvoy group. The hotel is undergoing a renovation right now and I remember this hotel from the 90s when I was the first time in uh, Jakarta so we are really curious how it uh, developed. Here we have the main entrance looks very elegant And now let's enter the lobby. And here we see this is still the 70s or 80s style. Uh, I remember that when I was here like 30 years ago, the last time. Lots of uh, marble, large chandeliers, lots of wood. It's very traditional. Indonesian style here we have the lobby bar they do just some preparations for Christmas here it is really old-fashioned but I mean this in a very positive way everything's kind of elegant it's really kept in uh, good condition and uh, remembers me of my first stays here in Indonesia in uh, Jakarta and here we have their uh, Japanese restaurant. We did not try that, but it looked quite nice. On the other side here, the front desk, some fresh flowers. Everything's a little bit dated, but uh, really kept in good condition. So we liked that uh, a lot. Then here we see their Fiesta restaurant where they serve uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner in a uh, buffet style. And now let's go to our room to the seventh floor. Here one of their I would say historic elevators. There are only at the moment uh, three floors newly renovated and we got a newly renovated room as uh, Bonvoy Titanium members. We got upgraded from a standard room which would be a non-renovated room to a deluxe room which is the newly renovated rooms here. It looks brand new, so let's go to our uh, room, the room number 739. And here we are. The room's got the size of approximately 30 square meters. And as you can see, it is brand new. Here we have the bathroom with the sink, the large mirror, the usual um, amenities. Even the bathroom's a little bit small. Here we got the toilet bowl. We got even a uh, scale. And here we have the handheld the rain shower with a really good water pressure. So everything is brand new and even it's a bit small it is very efficient here so we uh, like this bathroom on the other side we have the closet space with the ironing board with the iron with the safe and on the other side we have the bathrobe some hangers the slippers 
Here we got a uh, Nespresso machine. Unfortunately, only with two capsules and the fridge, which was empty. We got some glasses and a water kettle. The room itself very modern. The bed was really uh, comfortable. We got the flat screen, a TV. Uh, it's a smart TV. We got some uh, working uh, desk and a uh, sofa. So this room is uh, actually just renovated a couple of weeks ago. Here we have the view with the direction to Menteng and we overlook the pool. So we were really satisfied with uh, this room. And we have to say we paid for this only 1 million Indonesian rupiah, which is approximately 65, 66 euros or US dollars including breakfast and including lounge access and we think this is a real uh, bargain so next we see our welcome gift in this category it is really not usual to get some uh, fresh fruit some cake as a welcome gift so a big thank you uh, for that and now let's see the facilities we have here their pool located on their ground floor here we have their uh, towel stand where you can get your pool towels here's the terrace of their main uh, restaurant And the pool itself is a little bit dated, so we think it would need some uh, refurbishment. The time we were here, we were uh, the only guests, so it was really uh, quiet. But as we said, I remember this pool from the 90s and uh, I think it would be time to renovate it, but I'm pretty sure they gonna do that uh, very soon. You got plenty of uh, space here. And next up, we're gonna go to their club lounge located on the top floor of the hotel. And here we are. And this is again kind of a setback in time. The lounge is uh, really 70s, 80s style, but we really loved this. It was really elegant, it was nice. You got fresh flowers here and on the tables. Stuff here, super friendly, even if I would say they do not work on a five-star standard, but they're really nice, friendly, helpful. And when you see this lounge, this is like 30, 40 years ago, how the club lounges or the coffee houses look. The, the lounge got a, a really nice uh, outdoor terrace as well, overlooking the Jalan uh, Tamrin. And they do serve breakfast, uh, afternoon tea, and uh, evening uh, cocktails here. And during the afternoon tea, it is really quiet. We were the only uh, guests for a cup of uh, really good iced uh, coffee. And from six to eight, they have their cocktail hour and here you see what they got. They got some fruit salads, some sushi. 
you got here a nice uh, cake selection, some sandwiches, and even uh, some uh, hot uh, dishes. Quality-wise, it was quite good. The selection is uh, not uh, that big, so we would say it is kind of average. But when you have this price in mind, it's 65 or 66 US dollars or euros a night. So we are really satisfied with uh, what they offer. And they do have a really good selection of uh, wine. They do have other alcoholic beverages as well. So they got some hard liquor. They got uh, beer here as well. So we think it is a very decent and uh, nice uh, club lounge. And it was always quiet when we were here. So we enjoyed the evening cocktails here uh, every evening with some snacks. Prior, we went out for dinner. <coughs> and finally, we're gonna show you the breakfast selection here in the lounge. As a lead member, you can choose if you want to have the breakfast in the lounge or in their uh, fiesta restaurant we decided to have our breakfast in the lounge as the main restaurant was uh, really packed during our stay here in the lounge we were almost uh, the only ones even the selection is a little bit limited here here you got the more a quiet and uh, relaxed atmosphere that's why we decided to have our breakfast here in the lounge quality wise it was uh, really good they do have the usual stuff egg dishes fresh fruits some cold cuts and uh, sweets so we were quite satisfied with the uh, breakfast here as well and now let's come to a verdict for the Sari Pacific Hotel here in uh, Jakarta. As we said, we paid here only around 65, 66 euros a night. And for this money, it is a real bargain. You stay in the city center of Jakarta. The room was really nice. It was newly renovated. The lounge, experience was very good too. Staff was super friendly, super nice. So we definitely can recommend to stay here in this hotel when you're in Jakarta. So now we'd like to thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comment down below we are very happy about that and then we're gonna see you in our next video we're gonna be in bali thanks again for watching and goodbye